reviewing what we found in our relationship between pressure being too low and current being too low, high resistance on the voltage side, high resistance on the ground side, and of course, a faulty fuel pump or a clogged fuel strainer, so we got this going on, or a low or empty fuel level. Now, let's talk about some things that could make voltage drops on the way to the pump. Now, the classic picture we see here is when you take a pump connector off of the modular assembly, per se, and you see this really burnt, rusty-looking terminal, and you go, Eureka, this is a smoking gun. That's why this car's had a problem. That's why the fuel pump may have died. So you hopefully correct the issue that caused the voltage drop that made the terminal burn up. Terminals don't burn up on their own. They burn up for two reasons. One is excessive current goes through the terminal until the point where it breaks down, and now you have low current going through the terminal because you have a huge voltage drop. What could cause the excessive current? Two things can cause the excessive current. One is a bad fuel pump. It's dragging, it's binding. The other could be the fact that we have a loose connection creating heat. How does a toaster work? It's a resistance. What is a voltage drop? Across the bad terminal connection, let's say the terminal is too big, the male terminal too big for the female terminal, we have heat buildup and that's what causes that crusty critter we're seeing right there. However, don't stop at your inspection there. Look closer. You see in this illustration that we just popped up, a little bit of almost like a faint bubbling right around where the terminal protrudes out of the plastic. What would cause that little bubble in the plastic? The same heat source that after a little while longer, maybe a few months or even a year, creates that burnt connection we see on the left. So be looking for poor terminal retention, looking at your voltage drop of a loaded circuit and seeing if you have an issue that's gonna probably cause the next pump to go bad if the first one was even bad to begin with, it may just be a bunch of connection issues with the vehicle.